Well, he may have retired six years ago, but generations of KTVU viewers still know the name Dennis Richmond. And tonight, he opens up about his life after retirement. Dennis worked at KTVU for 40 years, 30 of them as the main anchor for the 10 o'clock news. Ken Wayne recently visited Dennis at his home in Grass Valley. We brought you part one of that interview last night. Well, Ken is back tonight with more, including the personal challenges Dennis has faced in retirement. Ken? Julian Frank, it's the question just about every KTVU employee is asked. What's Dennis Richmond up to these days? We went to his home in the Sierra foothills to find out. Hey, look at you. Hope I don't look too casual. You look cool. At age 71, Dennis Richmond is as imposing as ever, even in his running suit. Sitting down with his wife Deborah in their Grass Valley home, it looks like life here is pretty good. Um, stop, stop. I'm trying to fix your hair. There's nothing wrong with my hair. It doesn't need fixing. You had a little thing sticking up. That's hair <laughs> in my head. <laughs> so now you know what we do. We pick on each other all day long. I think the first thing people would want to know, Dennis, is how you doing? I'm doing well now. <laughs> I'm out of the hospital, walking around. Dennis was suffering from excruciating pain last month. Yeah, he and, uh, was in a tremendous amount of pain. Just crying, hurting. Yeah, it was horrible. I got him to go to the bathroom, and I had to crawl to the bathroom. It was that bad. Doctors inserted two metal rods along his spine attached with titanium screws. But the worst part was coming out of surgery. I thought everything was fine, but uh, I, was, I was a little goofy from the medication. For about, oh, let's see, eight days, he thought he was President Obama. And it was <laughs> 1994, which made no sense. Considered a fall risk, his hospital bed was alarmed and would alert yeah, nurses if he tried to get out. But one night, he disarmed it. So, but I saw the, where they pushed the button to turn him off. So, um, He's smart. He stepped over his sleeping wife, got to his walker, and made a break down the hall, thinking he was heading to the bathroom. I got wobbly toward the end, and as I came on the wall, I got real wobbly, and I went uh, head first into the wall and uh, woke up everybody. She came running. Yeah, it was like an explosion. The and, entire uh, hospital woke up. See, I told you I wasn't going to fall. At times, he still uses a cane, and he has a back brace to wear when he needs it. He's not 100%, and it will be a while before he can get back to his golf game. It'll be uh, about another month at least before, uh, before I feel safe doing it. So for now, the golf cart is used for picking up the newspaper at the end of the driveway or running down former colleagues. It's just, it's just a nice, serene place to be. We can run over Ken Wayne. <laughs> Deborah has seen the change in Dennis since the stress of nightly newscasts has eased. I never knew who was going to walk through the door. <laughs> if something would, you know, happen that would either he'd be very emotional for, you know, and he would let go when he got home. And uh, now he is a different person. He's super relaxed and, and uh, calm. He's a lot more uh, patient. He wasn't as patient back then. I wasn't? No. <laughs> the one story he wished he could have covered happened just after his retirement. I'm wishing I was there. First black president, he was crying. Yeah. We were both in tears, but he so wanted to do story. Yeah, I should have been story. there. Said I, should I should have, have been, been there. there. And that was just a few months after I retired. He also misses something else. Oh, God, I miss the viewers. Yeah. I just, it's just so wonderful when we go down to the Bay Area and, uh, and uh, people stop me. I think I've come to the realization that those days are over. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to go back on the air again. I look at, uh, I look at some of these uh, uh, anchors who, who have retired and, and they won't let go. And... Uh, I let go. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Life after four decades in news isn't so bad. No more deadlines or newsroom pressure. Just domestic bliss or something like that. Get away from me! I'm hey, no, no, no. Look, look, we are. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a good shot? <laughs> you shot. <laughs> <laughs> We're so happy. <laughs> And they are happy. Dennis says he does get the itch from time to time to get involved in a big story, but he made it clear 
Those days are over. I never thought I would show a picture of Dennis's wife strangling him <laughs> on television, but we just did. If you know them, though, it's perfect. Yeah, yeah. They're so cute together. That was really nicely done. That was nice seeing what he's up to. You know, one of the things about Dennis, he used to lift weights like a fiend. Mm -hmm. He loved hitting the iron. Oh, yeah. Is he still pumping and weights his now? His body shows that. Too. Yeah. He was told by his doctor, do not lift anything more than 10 pounds because of that back surgery. And he said, okay. And then when the doctor said, okay, now he can lift, he told me, I'd actually been doing 25 pound curls. <laughs> That's Dennis. You that can't do Dennis. curls with 10 pounds, come yeah. on. <laughs> so scary though, I talked to him three times yeah. in the hospital and it was very serious. Deborah called me, she was so worried about him and it's so good to see him doing better and recovering and, and he was yeah, so happy to get out the of the bathroom. hospital. Wow. Yeah, it was very scary. And you could see he's still, he's still a yeah. little bit wobbly, but he thinks he's gonna be okay and we certainly hope so. Well, we wish him the best, we miss him so much. Good job, thank you, Ken. Thanks.